welcome back guys so guess what i finally got my dog martins so um here they are <laughs> so i am going to talk about why i got these um the pricing the size the comfort and um how to break them in because everyone talks about how you know painful they are to break in so i've got a few ideas and strategies on how to break them in but um welcome back to my channel so if you're new here welcome my name is Cece. please make sure that you subscribe uh, hit that bell notification and give this video a thumbs up i have been looking at purchasing these for a very long time and the reason why i didn't buy them earlier is because they are quite pricey i think their standard price is about 145 to 180 pounds so I needed to be sure that it's, it, these are the ones that I really wanted. And then my sister decided to treat me to these. And guess what? I also got a discount as well. So I decided to go for the vegan ones. And originally they were £145. But in the end, I bought them for £92, which I think is a really good saving. So I am going to show you what they look like. Um, so this is the pair. And... Um, are the vegan ones as you can see um they look slightly different from the um, leather ones um yeah so these are the vegan ones so i am going to talk about um the sizing as well because i had to go and try them one a few times to make sure that i get the ones that were the right size so i got these from selfridges and um obviously my favorite place <laughs> And um, I went in there and I tried, tried them on a few times before I decided which size that I wanted. Um, because I'm normally a size 4, um, but then I wanted to make sure that they're actually comfortable because it's cold and I want to wear them now. And I don't want to have to wear them a million times before I can actually um, break them in so they're comfortable. So I tried on the size 4 and to be honest, my toe touched... Um, that my big toe touched the tip so I just knew straight away that they wouldn't be you know the best size for me and they actually don't come in half sizes so I tried on the five and the five the five was tight but it was still perfect so I, I just knew that if I break them in they'll just be perfect so I went for the size five and um, actually some of my trainers are four and a half so I think it depends on the on the type of shoe as well as the shape of the shoe um, so because these are rounded I just, just decided to go for the size 5 uh, and I felt that was perfect and I walked around for a bit to make sure that they were just the right size and then um, I decided to go for the size 5 so when you're choosing the sizing the best thing to do is actually measure your foot first and um, so once you measure your foot then you can go on the um, Doc Martin website and then you can compare the sizing and it will tell you you know exactly what size you should go for so size 5 was just perfect so these were actually £169 but then they were on offer for £100, 145 and then I got a discount so in the end I bought them for £92 and 80p. Another thing about sizing when you're buying the um, leather ones they advise that if you're in between sizes you should go a size down so for example because i'm a four and a half i should have gone for a four but then because these are vegan leather they're not going to stretch as much as the leather ones so a uh, size five was just perfect for me so if you're getting the vegan ones make sure that you don't go for a size that's too small because they're not going to stretch as the leather ones do so hard to break in and I can't stand painful shoes my shoes have to be comfortable just as my bed also has to be comfortable because if I'm not in one I'm always in the other so I have to make sure that they're comfortable so 
uh, went for the size 5 which was comfortable even if you know I, I still need to make sure that my feet mold to the shoe to make sure that it's actually perfect so um, I went for the size 5 but there's so many ways on how to break them in so I did a little bit of research just to make sure um, that they are extra comfortable so these are the five strategies that you can use to break in your dark markers. So the first thing that everyone talks about is that you should wear them with thick socks. So I've already got a pair of thick socks, so I might start wearing them at home just for 15 minutes um, just to see how I feel before I venture out outside. Although I don't normally wear shoes inside the house, but then since these are still brand new, I think I'm gonna wear them for 15 minutes a day, um, just wearing thick socks, and then I'll venture outside and see uh, you know, how, how I feel, but hopefully they should be okay. So number one is to wear thick socks. The second one that I've seen a lot of people do is actually applying heat on the shoe. So what you do is take the hair dryer and then just like apply heat on the shoe and then um, you can wear the, the shoes and then hopefully, you know, they'll mold to your feet. So uh, that's another one. I'm not sure how this would work with shoes that are non-leather because these are actually vegan leather. So, um, that's one of the things that you can do. So I'll start with thick socks and then secondly, um, if they don't really mold to my feet, I might go on and break them in by applying a bit of heat on them. The other thing that I've seen that's quite interesting, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be doing this one, is actually taking a freezer bag and then um, filling it with water and then putting that freezer bag in, inside the shoe and then taking the shoe and putting it in the freezer. And the whole idea is that as the water becomes solid, it actually forces the shoe to actually expand a little bit. So um, that's one of the strategies that I've seen a lot of people do. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to experiment and I'll let you guys know which ones actually worked for me. And if you've got any more ideas on how you can actually um, break in your Doc Martens, please let me know in the comment section below. This is the first day that I wore my Doc Martens. I wore them for about four hours and um, I wore them with thick socks, very thick socks. Um, it was a really cold day, so uh, my feet were nice and warm, although they did feel quite tight because they're still new and um, obviously the socks were quite thick. Um, at the end of the day, they were not painful, but I did feel that they were tight and quite um, stiff. I do realize that the leather will probably get softer as time goes on. So today is the second day that I'm wearing my doms. Um, yesterday I wore them for about three hours, um, but then today I'm doing eight hours. So we'll see how I feel. Uh, so far they're still comfortable. And um, I think because I bought the right size, because um, everyone keeps saying that you have to break them in and that it's, they're going to be painful and everything, but they're actually totally fine. But we'll see how I feel at the end of the day. Um, so, so far, so good. <laughs> I've got my thick socks as well, so as you can see, um, so maybe that helps as well to stretch them out a little bit, but I feel like um, they're comfortable so far, so I'm doing eight hours today, let's see how they look. I am channeling my inner J Janet Jackson, <laughs> my Janet Jackson outfit today, uh, well that's what someone said, that I look like Janet Jackson, I love her anyway, so I'll take that as a compliment. Um, I will let you guys know towards the end of the day, well at the end of the day how um, I fare in the day in these storms, but so far so good. So I've just been out looking at some sale items and I found this Prada hat. Oh my goodness guys, how beautiful is this? Oh, the, the thing is, it's actually in the sale it was let me just show you so originally it was 1500 and now it is 890 pounds um, <laughs> yeah it, it looks so good but I don't know if I'd like to I'd want to spend that much 
but it is beautiful. Let me just put it on. <laughs> Brain, so I feel like you know it needs to sit in or else I would have to wear it like this Just, yeah. <laughs> so cute. thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please make sure that you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and also turn on those bell notifications and make sure that you comment I really appreciate all your comments I read every single comment and I reply to all your comments so please make sure that you comment and uh, see you in the next one just a little update it took actually two weeks and my shoes are nice and comfortable um, I actually only did the thick sock strategy and it really worked so I don't have to wear thick socks with my shoes anymore and they're very comfortable my pinky toe was a bit painful the first few days but then after that um, they're just perfect so that really worked for me